Today we're going to make this adorable little mug rug. So to get started we're just going to cast on and chain 10 with our color A which is the black cotton thread. Once you've got your chain 10 done we're just going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook and then single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. So you'll have a total of nine stitches in this first row. And we're just going to repeat that same single crochet across uh, for four rows. So, so we'll have a total of four rows of single crochet stitches in this color A. Go ahead and fasten off the black, the color A, and switch to your color B. And uh, with that one, we're just going to uh, chain one and then single crochet in the back loop only. So I used this pretty sea glass color from uh, Sugar and Cream. It's just a pretty teal. And um, when you chain one, and then just single crochet in just the back loop, not the front loop, <laughs> the back loop. So between the little V there created by the stitch and go across with that. We're gonna want to um, do that for those nine stitches. And then once you've got that first row of the color B, go ahead and chain one and do another row across of nine stitches in the same color and then fasten off. All right, now it's time to change to color A again and we're just gonna go back to that black. We're going to cast on and then chain one and single crochet two. Sorry, a little, little trip up there. So we're gonna get, get on there our corner there, and then chain one and single crochet two. Then we're going to treble crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch below the one where we did the back loop only. So all the way down, go all the way down to the last black and then come up and then we'll single crochet again and then we'll repeat that two times as we work across. So we'll treble, treble crochet, front loop only, and then single crochet. And that will give us this cute and slightly interesting design that's sort of like mosaic, but not exactly. It's, it's just like a very, very beginner mosaic. And once we finish this row, you can see that's the pattern, very simple. And we'll just chain one and turn our work. And you can see that it's just straight across on the back and then on the front side has that little pattern. So now we're just gonna continue on with our color A and uh, repeat that row two through four uh, where you just or single the chain one and then single crochet nine across for that large chunk of black in the center of our coaster. Now we're just gonna repeat our mosaic section by switching to that color B, 
going through and doing the single crochet back loop only and um, making that section so that we can then cover it up with our little mosaic in just a moment. Now we're switching back to our color A again. And again, we're just repeating what we did above. So you're going to chain one, single crochet two, and then do the treble crochet front loop only, all the way down to the black. So wrap it over, or yarn over, and then go all the, day, all the way down to make our pattern pop. Once you finish the mosaic section, we're just going to do a couple more rows of the plain single crochet in color A just to make sure that our mug rug is even on both sides. So once we've finished off, we're going to go ahead and clean up our edges with a, a single crochet on each long side just to capture the loose ends in our mosaic section so that we don't have to do a whole lot of weaving in and make it just look a little sharper. And now we're just going to add some tassels. You're going to want uh, several lengths of yarn, um, three to four inches long, and you just push them through and then tie them on. There's multiple ways to do this, but for this small of a project, pushing them through one at a time is really not a huge ordeal. And you do kind of want them to be secure because this is going to be on a coffee table or whatever and get a little bit of, of a workout with a mug sitting on top of it. Once you get the tassels on, trim them to the length you desire. It's easier to kind of do that on a flat surface and kind of brush them out nice and neat before you cut them so that they're all the same length. And with that, you're done. <laughs>